This shot is from behind the worship center, so behind the building, looking into the worship center from the back, kind of where that crane is, that's right in the worship center. And you can see the gap there in the precast walls, just that the connection from the one wall to the back corner and from that, that's all they got left. And then all the precast is done. So that's the final thing that's gonna happen Monday and Tuesday. This is now from the front of the building looking back. So the, the back corner on the right is where that last bit of precast is, needs to go in. But if you look on the far right, you'll see a little jog out. That's all block. And then you can't quite see it, but behind that precast wall on the left, there's the elevator shaft, that's also block. So the Masons built a staircase. That's a staircase that comes down from the second floor ad goes outside and to the first floor. That's out of, built out of block. The elevator shaft is all built out of block and all the rest is concrete. So I just want to give you an idea. Each one of those panels, you see there's a, a rod holding up a panel. So each panel is about 12 feet by 38 feet tall. Each panel weighs 50,000 pounds. So, and there's 55 panels, something like that, 54, 55 panels. So I did the math this morning. There's 2,600,000 pounds of concrete we just put up on that site. So, yeah, is that crazy? That's the crane that puts these things up, these 50,000 pound panels. I don't know that I've seen a beefier solid crane ever, but that's what they're putting them all up. They pick them up, they got, um, and then guys are, they got other machines and they got pry bars and shims and they level them and then they weld them all together. That's how it gets welded to the foundation and welded to each panel, it gets welded to each other. So that's just another shot. This shot is from the front toward the education wing to the left, kind of looking through to the back. And that's from the back corner, from Glory Lane, from the back corner. I mean, it looks like I'm um, ready to move in. There it is, doors are there, windows are up, everything ready to move in. Actually, if you look up top on the right, you see the set of three narrow slits and then a fourth one to the left of it. That, the fourth one to the left is a door. The three, actually that concrete gets cut out. They had to leave in a piece of concrete to, so that it wouldn't crack when they put it up. And then on the site, they cut it out. That's just a passageway up on the second floor mezzanine to get into the um, over the top of our education wing where our multi-purpose rooms are. So that's interesting. Below are the passageways on the first floor and the two windows you see on the left of the bigger passageway on the bottom, those are the two windows that will get filled with windows that go into our rumpus room for our little kids to play in. So from the lobby. And there, thanks to Eric Graper, we got a new sign that blew down in the storm and you can see the building behind it, what it's going to look like on the left I thought that was a great shot with the building in the background and then the steel package is getting delivered this week it's getting delivered and probably once the conquer the precast is done the steel guys are going to start erecting the steel we're going to move our construction cam to the front so you can watch the steel erection from the comfort of your own home put your lazy boy back put your laptop on and you can watch construction